class. I hope you are all doing well. Our lesson for today, we are going to take on the topic algebraic expression. Uh, when we talk about algebraic expression, we are talking about using letters such as X, Y, Z, M, N, and so on and so forth with the use of um, operations such as addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, and we combine them to form what? An expression. Let's say if I have 4X minus 3Y, this is an expression where the 4 is a constant and then the X is a variable. 3 is also a constant and then our Y is a variable. They are being separated by a minus sign, which is our operation. So algebraic expression is just trying to combine letters and operations together. Now, when we talk about algebraic expression, we can talk about a linear expression, a quadratic expression, a cubic expression, and so on and so forth. So when we pick a linear expression such as 4 into x plus y, now normally in this we use the expansion we already know. So if we have a into b plus c and we want to expand this, the a will come and multiply the b. So this becomes a b, then the symbol follows, which is our operation addition, and then a times c, which is what? a c. So if I have 4x plus 4y, 4x plus y, this is going to give us 4x plus 4y. The same way if I have 3 into 2a plus 5b plus 7, and I want to expand this, this becomes 3 times 2a, which is 6a, 3 times 5b, which is 15b, and then 3 times 7, which is what? 21. So this becomes our answer. So normally, when we have, let's say, 4a minus b, all squared, now, this means this is twice of 4a minus b. Because when I say a squared, a squared means a times a. So if I have b squared, it also means b times b. So if I have x minus 1 all squared, this is x minus 1, x minus 1. Okay? So the square is affecting everything in the brackets here. So if I have 4a minus b, this is 4a minus b, and then 4a minus b. Now, when I have two linear expressions and I want to expand them, now, assuming I have a plus b multiplying c plus d, we do the normal expansion, which is a will multiply c. So we have a multiplying c plus d, plus b also multiplying c plus what? d. So we do the necessary expansions, we shall have ac plus ad plus bc plus bd. So we have a times c, a times d, b times c, and then b times d. If there is the need for you to simplify further, only when the coefficients are the same, then in that case, we can simplify further. But in this case, we can't simplify because the coefficients are all different. Now, when it comes to 4a minus b all squared, we can express it as 4a minus b, 4a minus b. So this is going to give us 4a into 4a minus b, then minus b into 4a minus b. Then we expand. When we expand, we shall have 4a times 4a, which is 16a squared. 4a times minus b minus 4ab. And then minus b times 4a minus 4ab again. And then plus b squared. Negative times negative is positive, so b times b is b squared. This is going to give us 16a squared minus 8ab plus b squared. So that is the expansion of 4a minus b all squared. Again, there are different types of expansions you can be given. Somebody else will also give you 2x minus 3y and then 4x plus y. You can be asked to expand this. So it's the same principle. You have 2x into 4x plus y and then minus 3y also multiplying 4x plus y. When we expand this, 2 times 4 is 8, x times x is x squared. 2 times 1 is 2, and then x times y is xy. Minus 3y times 4, minus 3 times 4 is minus 12, 
times what? X, Y. And then negative 3Y plus Y is negative 3Y squared. Now, we continue by simplifying the middle term. Since we have 2XY minus 12XY, which will give us minus 10XY, we, we shall have 8X squared minus 10XY minus 3Y squared as our final answer.